Hi, welcome back to another edition of Gray Hair and Tattoos. My name is Lani, and today we are going to recreate one of Gigi Hadid's amazing outfits. I think she has an incredible sense of style, and I saw this picture of her, and I'm like, wow, that's a really cool outfit. I could see myself wearing that. I bought a bunch of stuff, I put it all together, and this is my recreation of Gigi's outfit. So today I'm going to show you what I bought, where I bought it, and I will have the shopping links down below. So if you want to recreate her outfit also, you're gonna be able to do that. So be sure to like and follow and let's get started. The majority of everything I'm gonna be showing you is on and available at Amazon. I am an Amazon influencer, so I'm on there all the time. And I was like, yeah, this, 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 and this. And before I knew it, I had her outfit. And the first thing that I started with was her sweater. A couple of things that I really liked about her sweater, I liked the three quarter length sleeves. I liked how it was a little cropped. And I love the fact that it looks like there's no buttons, there, there might be a little closure, but I like that kind of open flowy feel of that sweater. So I started looking on Amazon and what I found is this sweater from Urban Coco. It pretty much hits all the same marks that I just told you about on her sweater. It's the three quarter length sleeve, it's cropped it has a little v-neck and yes there are more buttons on this one than there are on hers but i'm just going to button the middle button and kind of give it that same flowy vibe and i think it's a great start now for sizing i did decide to size up quite a bit i sized up to a large because i wanted to make sure that i had more of that flowy feel like i see in her picture and i think that this is a really good match and we are well on our way to recreate creating her style. I took a look at the jeans that she was wearing and she's wearing like a distressed, loose fitting jean. I already had a pair and I knew that they were gonna work perfectly. And the pair that I have are from H&M. Love these pants. I've told you all about them before and I'm gonna tell you about them again. And the things that I love about them is, is that they're not a high waist pant. A lot of times with the mom jeans, I think they hit me too high and they almost accentuate my, um, my midriff and I don't really like that. They're a mid-rise jean, but they were high enough to fit perfectly with that sweater. So again, these are the high-low jeans from H&M. Absolutely love them. If you're looking for a good pair of loose-fitting mid-to-low-rise jeans, I say check them out. I, I, I have nothing bad to say about them. Now we're taking a look at her shoes. <sighs> her shoes. Those are the UGG Taz slip-ons. Those are the platform ones. And those are near impossible to find. They were super hot last year and they are just as in demand this year. I'm kicking myself for not buying them over the summer when I could see that they're available. And right now, like I said, I can't find them, but I found a pair that is close enough that I'm really happy with these pair. Now the shoe that I found are on Amazon and these are Free People Mules. These are the Damon Cozy Mules and they are very cozy. I wear these all the time. I actually go for long walks in them and they're really comfortable. I think this little shearing right here that pops out is really cute and I like the back. So they're not the Uggs that she's wearing and there are other varieties that you can look into. I mean, they don't have to be the Ugg Taz slip-ons, but just look for a brown pair of mules similar to this and you can recreate and have that same vibe on that outfit but these are the ones I have and I like them. I like them. So we have her sweater, we have her pants and we have her shoes recreated. But I'm always saying it's the accessories. The accessories like Gigi or Bella or Haley wear really bring everything all together. So I wanted to recreate her accessories also. I started with her glasses and what I found are these pair of Foster Grant glasses and they are so cute. In fact, they're right here. Now for the longest time, I stayed away from gold. I didn't do gold jewelry, I didn't do gold accessories, but ever since I've been recreating these outfits, I've really been embracing gold. I think these are cute, they're lightweight, and I'm gonna be wearing these to San Francisco when I go in a couple of weeks. So 
there you go. These are the glasses. They're round like hers. I got the same vibe. I'm like, yeah, you know what? I'm cool. I got me some cool glasses. Some cool girl, girl some cool girl, some cool girl glasses. There you go. Now, another thing that she has on is a gold necklace. So I went looking for a gold necklace. And like I said, I'm embracing this, this whole gold accessory thing. And what I found are this cute little layering necklace. This is a gold plated necklace. And what it has, if you can see here, it has my initial. So there's a little L on there and it's a layering necklace. So there's more than one. You put this on, then you have another little shorter one and it's really cute. I like it. Again, I'm embracing the gold. One thing I like about this necklace is that if it turns over, there's a design on the back also. So you don't have to feel like your necklace is on backwards. I found this on Amazon and you know what? It, it was really cute. They had a little thank you for buying the necklace. It says it's handmade with love. And you know what? I was impressed. This is a really cute little product. So if you're not really very comfortable with something, but you've always wanted to try it, Start small and work your way up. And I'm really having fun with my gold accessories. The last thing that we have to look at, like she has, is her bag. She has this cute little brown handbag. Those shade of brown and gray together. Never thought of putting those two together. And I really like that combination. I'm gonna be recreating that quite a bit this fall and winter. So I needed a brown handbag. And this one is the one that I have. Where did I get this one? I got this one at Goodwill. I actually go thrifting quite a bit and I had found this one for $5. It reminded me so much of my grandma's that I had picked it up and it's just a nice brown little handbag. Again, a little out of what I normally wear, but I have to tell you this with the little sweater and the mules and the glasses was a really cool addition to the accessories. And I can't say this enough. It's the little things, it's the accessories. It's putting a sweater and a pair of pants and some mules together and then just adding those extra pieces. It's going to bring your look all together. I found a purse for you on Amazon that is very similar to my little purse, but it's really all about the coloring. If you have a brown purse, you know what? Just add that to your outfit and bam, you are gonna have a recreated Gigi Hadid amazing outfit. Those are all of the items I bought. I had so much fun looking for them and recreating this outfit. Now I am gonna tell you this because you knew there could not be an episode that I did not tell you what I wanna tell you. And what I wanna tell you is style and fashion do not have an age limit. A lot of times what we do is we look at these amazing styles that younger people are wearing, you know, like Gigi and, and Bella and, and Haley, just these amazing style icons. And we look at these outfits and we're like, wow, that's a really nice outfit. And then in the back of our heads, we're like, ugh, but if I wear it, people are gonna think like I'm trying to dress young or I'm trying to recapture my youth. It has nothing to do with that. When I look at an outfit, when I see somebody who inspires me, I look at the outfit and I wonder, how would I feel when I'm wearing that outfit? Would I feel confident? And if the answer is I would feel good and I would feel confident, then that's a style that I wanna wear. That's an outfit that I wanna recreate and that's an outfit that would represent me. So don't look at the age of the person wearing the clothes. Look at the clothes, figure out if that's your style, figure out if that's gonna make you confident. And regardless as to who you are, if you wanna recreate it and if you wanna wear it, do it shine bright and don't let anybody ever tell you that you are too old or you don't have the right body type to rock a style that you want to don't let them do that to you so as always i hope that i inspired you to um, try some new styles maybe recreate gg's outfit yourself and as always please remember like and follow and i will see you on the next episode bye